Hey guys, it's Missy, and welcome back to Books and a Baby. <laughs> so, today starts the verse, the first day of Veda, and I am happy to be here to bring you my TBR for the month of August. So let's get started. So, I have three technically buddy reads that I'm doing this month. Um, one is with my mom, and then two are with a group that I am in on Facebook. Now, I only have one of the picks for this month as of right now when I'm filming this, so I will go ahead and tell you what that one is, and it is The Stranger Times by C.K. McDonald. Okay, so I'm just going to read you the blurb from Goodreads, and it says, There are dark forces at work in our world and in Manchester in particular. And so thank God the Stranger Times is on hand to report them, a weekly newspaper dedicated to the weird and the wonderful, but more often the weird of modern life. It is the go-to publication for the unexplained and inexplicable. At least that's their pitch. The reality is rather less auspicious. Their editor is a drunken, foul-tempered, and mouthed husk of a man who thinks little and believes less of the publication he edits, while his staff are a ragtag group of wastrels and misfits, each with their own secrets to hide and axes to grind. And as for the assistant editor, well, that job is a revolving door, and it is just revolved to reveal Hannah Willis, who got her own, who's got her own set of problems. It's when tragedy strikes in Hannah's first week on the job that the Stranger Times is forced to do some serious, proper, actual investigative journalism. What they discover leads them to a shocking realization that some of the stories they'd previously dismissed as nonsense are in fact terrifyingly, gruesomely real. Soon, they come face to face with darker foes than they could have ever imagined. It's one thing reporting on the unexplained and paranormal, but it's quite another being dragged into the battle between the forces of good and evil. So this is the first book in the um, Facebook group that I'm in. That's our buddy read for our fantasy pick. And then the book that I'm going to be reading with my mom, which is a buddy read for my mom and I, is called The Seven Day Switch by Kelly Harm. And I'm just gonna read you the two, like, like the first paragraph because I just think it's hilarious. So it says, Celeste Mason is the Pinterest stay at home super mom of other mother's nightmares. Despite her all organic, sun butter loving, free range kids, her immaculate home, and her volunteering awards. She still has time to relax with a nice glass of Pinot at the end of the day. The only thing that ruins it all is her workaholic, career-obsessed neighbor who makes no secret of what she thinks of Celeste's life choices every chance she gets. Wendy Charles is a celebrated productivity consultant, columnist, and speaker. On a minute-by-minute -minute schedule, she makes the working mom hustle look easy. <laughs> Come sit in my lap. Hi. Okay, Mama's gonna finish reading this, okay? Okay. <laughs> Wendy Charles is a celebrated productivity consultant, columnist, and speaker. Mama. On a minute-by-minute huh? schedule, oh, yeah, she makes the working mom hustle look <laughs> easy. She even spends at least one waking hour a day with her kids. She's not apologizing for things. Especially to Celeste, who plays her, suspe her superior parenting against Wendy whenever she can. Um, and then this turns into be like a Freaky Friday, they switch places kind of thing. Yes. And it just looks really cute. Um, so those are two of the buddy reads that I will be doing this year. Then I'm going to be trying to read quite a few of the net galleys that I have because I really need to get my net galley score up. Um, so the first one is going to be Dreams Lie Beneath by Rebecca Ross. This says, a curse plagues the realm of Azenor. During each new moon, magic flows from the nearby mountain and brings nightmares to life. 
only magicians who serve as territory wardens stand between people and their worst dreams. Clementine Madigan is ready to take over as a warden of her small town, but then, but when two magicians challenge her, she is unwittingly drawn into a century-old conflict. She seeks revenge, but as she secretly gets closer to Flynn, one of the handsome young magicians, secrets begin to rise. Clementine must unite with her rival to fight the realm's curse, which seems to be haunting her every turn. Um, I saw this one on NetGalley as like a read now thing, and I thought it looked really good, so I'm really excited about this one. Then we have The Project by Courtney Summers, and it says, Low denim is used is used to being on her own. After her parents died in a tragic car accident, her sister Bay joined the elusive community called the Unity Project, leaving Lo to fend for herself. Desperate not to lose the only family she has left, Lo has spent the last six years trying to reconnect with Bay, only to be met with radio silence. When Lo's given the perfect opportunity to gain access to Bay's reclusive life, she thinks they're finally going to be reunited but it's difficult to find someone who doesn't want to be found. And as Lo delves deeper into the project and its charismatic leader, she begins to realize that there's more at risk than just her relationship with Bay. Her very life might be in danger. Um, that one just sounded really awesome. And also, I love Courtney Summers. Um, I read Sadie by her thought it was fantastic and I love the way she depicts sisters um so I loved that um then we have before we disappear by Sean David Hutchinson okay it says Jack Nevin's clever trickery and moral flexibility has served him well his entire life making him the perfect assistant to the enchantress one of the most well-known stage magicians in the early 20th century Europe Without Jack's steady supply of stolen tricks and copycat sleight-of-hand illusions, the Enchantress fame would have burned out a long time ago. Not that she would ever admit it. But when they're forced to flee the continent for America, the Enchantress finds a new audience in Seattle at 1909 Alaska Yukon yes, Pacific World Fairs Exposition. She and Jack are set to make a fortune until a new magician arrives on the scene, performing tricks that defy the imagination. Laszlo's act threatens to overshadow the Enchantress and co-opt her audience. Jack has no choice but to hunt for the secrets behind Laszlo's otherworldly illusions. But what he uncovers isn't at all what he expected. So, this is another NetGalley uh that I really want to get to um, to try to get my rating up on NetGalley. Then we have Beloved by Toni Morrison. What are you doing? Come, come over here. You can come over here and look. Come here. Can you come say hi? Hi. Hi. I was trying to film this during nap time, but someone didn't want to nap. So, <laughs> okay. Sethi was born a slave and escaped to Ohio, but 18 years later, she is still not free. She has borne the unthinkable and not gone mad, yet she is still held captive by memories of Sweet Home, the beautiful farm where, she, where so many hideous things happened. Meanwhile, Sethi's house has long been troubled by the angry, destructive ghost of her baby who died nameless and whose tombstone is engraved with a single word, Beloved. Sethi works at beating back the past, but it makes itself heard and felt incessantly in her memory and in the lives of those around her. When a mysterious teenage girl arrives, calling herself Beloved, Sethi's terrible ex secret explodes into the present. Um, Beloved is one of those, like, modern classics that everyone, Hi, I'm um, yes, you're Gemma, thinks that people should read, and I've been wanting to read it for a while, and it sounds really good, so, um, 
I have put it on this month's TBR. Creatures of the Flood by Erin Hunter. And this is the final uh, book on this month's TBR that is a NetGalley um, arc. And this one just says, <laughs> the book description on Goodreads is very short. It says, three young pandas set out on separate journeys to save their homes and families in the Bamboo Kingdom. Um, this is one that I got because I thought it might be a book that my niece would really love. Um, so I am trying to review it so that when it comes out, I can either get it for her or let my mom know so that she can get it for her because she's almost eight and I'm trying to help her find chapter books that she can read for herself. You need to get down. And then the last three books on this TBR are The Grim Gatto, The Penultimate Peril, and The End by Lemony Snicket. I am going to be trying to finish the series of unfortunate events this month um, and putting up a whole review. So those are all of the books that I will be reading for this month. Um, I also have one more buddy read that will be a sci-fi pick um for my facebook group that i'm in but those are the books that i have on my tbr for this month so if you've read any of these please let me know what you thought of them down in the description below also i now have a patreon so if you would like to support this channel with a monetary donation you can definitely do that by joining my Patreon. Um, you can also buy me a coffee and I would be greatly appreciative of anything that you could um, donate because this is now my job or I'm trying to make it that. So um, yeah, these are the books that I plan to read this month and I am very excited about all of them. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you can see when I post new vid videos. Um, again, this month of August, I will be posting a video every day, so make sure your bell is hit so you know when I post a new video. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!